Oh, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome along to our very first live stream here in Rockingham in our kitchen, guys. <laughs> I'm going to pass you over to Sue. Just before I do, let me uh, tell you it's Ross and Sue. We're, we're Ross and Sue, and we're from Ball and Moves. Hi. <laughs> um, okay, so I just wanted to point out that um, we've uploaded some videos this last week. So we've done the Sway Cha Cha, which is a line dance, a Latin line dance, and we've done a La Bomba video. We did already have the La Bomba on our YouTube channel, uh, but this new video has broken breaking down the steps a bit more and giving you the man's and the lady's steps. <laughs> I'm doing a good job so far. <laughs> Um, so you'll be able to have a look at that video and uh, give us some feedback if you want to tell us anything. So um, there's a comment section on the side of the screen, so if you want to chat to us and say, get over yourself Sue, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then you can chat to us. You can ask us questions throughout the session today. Um, today's live stream is about Cha Cha and we're doing uh, some variations from a New Yorker, which is something we were working on in our last class before we stopped. Uh, so we've got a couple of variations to give you uh, based on your dance in the New Yorker and you want to try and do something different. So we're going to be doing that. Uh, we might just do a demonstration, first of all, of the two variations that we've got for you today. Thank you, Tanika. Music maestro. And while we're waiting on that, you will have a good laugh today, guys. It will be pretty entertaining because <laughs> we're, we, we're enjoying ourselves. We're beginners. And of course, um, you know, we should be keeping our social distancing, but uh, we guess we live together, so um, we should be able to have a dance. And same with you guys. And we encourage you to get up off of your lounges and find a little bit of space like we have. We're dancing in two and a half square metres here. So it's, uh, you can be dancing in your lounge rooms. Mm. Or your dining room, our dining table's out of here. Okay, music. Oh, here we go. so we want to keep it pretty loose and we keep it pretty close to our bodies as well. So here we go, we dance the basic step and now the lady's going to turn under the arm and this is the alamana and we get back to the square position and now we dance our New Yorker. Here's the New Yorker, get, we get a double hand hold here and now we swivel the lady out, swivel the lady out Cha, 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 and we finish off with a New Yorker again. There's our New Yorker group, and it finishes with a spot turn. All of our groups are going to finish with a spot turn. So let's all get up off the lounge, find us a bit of space, and especially for the ladies, as the ladies will have a good look at this. So you can follow Sue here, ladies, and we're going to dance our half a basic step. The Alamana turn under you go, replace side cha 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 and now we dance our New Yorker crossover crossover replace cha 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 now the man's going to lead the lady to swivel open so Sue will swivel open she swivels open 
and I'm going to swivel her again on the cha-cha-cha. Swivel. Cha-cha-cha. And now we, we dance our New Yorker. And finish it off with a spot turn. Do you want to try? How'd you go? Do you want to try that again? Are you up off your lounge now? Ready? <laughs> go. One, two. Cha 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 turn under two. Cha 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 New York two. Cha 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 swivel the lady, swivel the lady side. Cha 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 New York two. Cha 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 spot turn two. How did you go? Great. Let's get the guys up off the lounge. Come on, guys. Here we go. Just in a little tiny space. Here we are. The basic step and basic step. Cha cha cha. We just lift up our left arm a little bit, and you can see my right hand is on the lady's elbow here. I'm going to lead Sue under with my right hand. Let's come back, Sue, and do that again so I can join in. And as she does that, I'm going to marry that up with the back basic. Back basic, two side, cha cha cha. Oh, yeah, cha cha cha. Here we go. We're on a bit of a 45 angle here, so you can all see what's going on rather than being square. Here we are with the New Yorker. New York. Cha cha cha. I've got a double hand hold. And now on this lead, this is interesting, this lead, guys, because you want to know about this. That what I'm doing here is I'm pulling my left hand to my hip to open the lady, to swivel the lady outwards. And now with my right hand, I'm going to pull my right hand in to my right hip. So I'm going to pull the left hand in, pull the right hand in, and I've made Sue dance that action. And then I want to open her up once more before I do the cha-cha-cha, so I'll give her another swivel, and then cha-cha, let go, cha-cha-cha, ready to dance in New Yorker. And I'll go with that, Sue. Do it again for the men. Do it again for the men. So that was just a little lead tip. Let's see if I can get through it now. <laughs> go. One, two, side, cha-cha-cha. The Alamana turn, cha-cha-cha, crossover, New York. Cha cha cha, swivel the lady, pull the lady, pull the lady, cha cha cha, New York, cha cha cha, and a spot turn, cha cha cha. That was for the guys. Let's all put it together once more, guys. No stopping this time. Go. Basic step and cha cha cha, Alamana two and cha cha cha, open two, cha cha cha, we go rock and sweep full, cha cha cha, one. Two, cha cha cha, spot, turn, cha cha cha, good. Now I just wanted to talk to the guys about that lead again. And we we don't have to swivel, fellas, because our aim is to make the lady dance a swivel. But we can join in. Once you've got the lead going well, you can join into the swivel as well. So from the New Yorker, I'm gonna get the lead and a swivel. Cha cha cha. Good. And what you're noticing there is that Sue and my bodies are sort of toward each other and we don't, as we swivel, we don't take our bodies away from each other like this. We're keeping our bodies toward each other and we're sort of isolating the top section and just letting it happen underneath you. And we can have a lot of fun with this. We could repeat this once or twice and we can finish it with the New Yorker going this way as well. Why don't we um, just have a go of doing that step to music? <laughs> Would you like a new song? We'd love um, a new song. Yeah, you can play the other song. Yeah, that'd be great, Tamika. Thank you. Have we got any comments? Has anyone typed anything? Are we going too fast? Are we going too slow? Let's know. Let's know. I'm ready for those kitchen appliances too.
um, one step in, that's our first variation. Now there might be just like a whole, a whole um, family there, or there might be mum and a daughter. So you know, you just decide who is going to be the leader and who is going to be the follower. And the other thing is, there's some people who are home alone. So for the ladies, the wall can be whoever you want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> so you do your basic, because the swivels are really hard to do when you've got no one to sort of push and pull a base. So you do your basic, your alamana, your New Yorker, we can handle that. But when you're doing the swivels, you can do it up next to a wall and it just helps to get the feeling of keeping your arms still in the centre and letting the bottom section only move and gives you a bit of balance. So there's a tip for the ladies. If you're on your own, well, do the guys need to worry if they're on their own? Well, they do. I, th I think it's, um, well, they don't need to worry, obviously, if they're on their own, but the guys can just practice and imagine you've got this beautiful partner in front <laughs> of you. Because you, you do your swivel, swivel without I, doing it. Yeah. And let's face it, when we're out at a disco, this is our basic move, isn't it? <laughs> okay. And probably our discos was like in the 70s anyway. Do you want to bring out your kitchen utensils? I, well, I, I thought about, because we're in the kitchen, I'd bring out the spatula. <laughs> <laughs> or are going to, oh, you're going to enjoy yourselves for this one. And see, what I want you to, to understand is the lead. So when I'm pulling um, Sue to swivel her open, that I'm just pulling it back to my hip, and you can see both hands are working together. It's not like I've led and <laughs> overstretched. See that? And I've lost my spatula. So you want to keep your little finger on the bottom of the spatula. Here's the little hole it hooks into. Keep it there and practice swiveling, pulling it into your hip. Chuck, chuck, chuck. Pull it into the hip. And you can see, look, Sue's got the soup spoon out. She's, she's cooking a big pot of soup tonight. <laughs> and this is the centre. So when you make your lead, your lead is always from the centre. See that? It's not, you're not going to extend it and go past the centre because that will make the lady go do the horrible way. things. Yeah. So you just want to keep your lead. Can you, see that, Can you see that? Can yeah. you see that okay, guys? <laughs> anyway, that's enough of that. <laughs> We'll be bringing out the pot soon. <laughs> <laughs> so right. on, that, on that lead, going back to that again, see that? And I've got it in the centre, and I'm just pulling towards my hip, and I'm opening too. Now, if I wanted a better result, a bigger swivel, I would just get a little bit more turn of the hand, but still, I'm keeping the hands at the same distance all the time, and not opening it up like this, yeah. It turns into a washing machine then. So I just wanted to give that tip for the guys because uh, that's really important for us to lead the lady. And of course, it's something when you're leading that you're actually doing it to yourself. You're not sort of pulling on the lady. I'm not going to impede Sue's movement as I'm doing it. I've kept her on the foot. I'm not impeding what she's doing. And we can make this lead very light if we both lighten up a little bit, but we're still sort of locked in. Yeah. Chuck, Good chuck, workout. Chuck. It's a great workout, isn't it? <laughs> Trying to stay still at the top and lose the bottom. Okay. Um, while we're still on this first variation, do you think we should talk about, you know, how we decided we could actually do it twice? Yeah. Should we go through doing it twice as, yeah. a, as another option? As another option, we can we can extend this group. Have a look at this, guys. So we've dan danced our New Yorker and we've danced our swivel and we've gone swivel, swivel, cha cha cha. That's our song. Swivel, swivel, cha cha cha. Here I go again. Swivel, swivel, chuck, chuck, chuck. Now I could just open up and dance a New Yorker this way and another New Yorker because your spot turn men always wants to turn to the left. And that would be the right for the ladies, wouldn't it? So, yeah, yeah. yeah. So your spot turn always wants to turn to the left. So you would just manufacture more New Yorkers until you're ready to dance your spot turn to the left. So let's do that version. From the basic. The Alamana turn, the New Yorker, here I go with the swivel, 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 cha cha cha, swivel, swivel, cha cha, and then we open up with our New Yorker, another New Yorker, because I want to make my spot turn turn to the left. 
And guys, you don't have to whisper in their ear either to tell the ladies that you're going to do it twice. Because when you do it the first time, if you're going to go into a New Yorker, you're letting go so she knows she's going to move off into the next step. But when Ross did it twice, he, on the cha-cha-cha, he remained, maintained his hold so I didn't go anywhere. And he could do a third one if he wanted. Yeah. And then I could just open up the New Yorker this way. Yeah. So the guy just keeps hold if he's planning on doing another one. Or, or let's go if he's planning on taking me through to the New Yorker. Should we just do that once more, a little bit to music? And then go back to that first song, Tanika, my cha capella. Cha capella. Cha capella. Listen this time, because now you know it's voices only. Have we got you up yet? Yeah, somebody said that up. Thanks for getting us up and moving. Dennis. Dennis. Hi, Dennis. Howdy, Dennis. Howdy, thanks for joining us. teaching social ballroom dancing. So most social ballroom dancing is danced on the first beat because it's the one that stands out the most and it's easy to get into rhythm yeah. dancing on the first beat. And of course a lot of um, sequence dancers, a lot of uh, English sequence dancers, they're all danced on the they're first beat. They're choreographed on the first beat. They're choreographed. But technically speaking, if you were doing a medal or dancing competition, the beat is two. You dance on two? Yes, you're dancing um, on the second beat. But we are teaching socially, so we just dance on the first beat. Um, I should mention as well, if you look on your screen, have we got many people watching, Tanika, or am I just talking to Ross and you? Wonderful <laughs> <laughs> people. Okay. Um, a couple of things I should mention, this video will stay on our channel afterwards so you can actually watch it at a later date if uh, you're too busy isolating elsewhere. <laughs> um, and what was the other thing I was going to mention? Oh, uh, there is a, um, a link underneath where the picture is, there's some informational technical stuff and there's a link there that you can go on if you chose to do a little donation because you were having a laugh today and you enjoyed the video or you enjoy the videos on our channel, uh, you can click on that link and you can make a donation as well. All right, let's look at the second variation from a New Yorker, which is Cuban Breaks. The Cuban Breaks. Which way are we going to dance it? Uh, I'm going to dance it this way. <laughs> that was... <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, oh, so here, here we go, here we go. So we dance the half the basic into the Alamama turn and we dance our New Yorker and as we're dancing our New Yorker we're turning this into a Cuban break so it goes over, replace, side and we've just got rid of the cha-cha action here and then it goes over, replace, side and then we're going forward, replace, back, replace dancing a Cuban break in position back, replace, forward, replace, side and then we dance it the other way Forward, replace, back, replace, forward, replace, side. And we finish it off with a new, a new Yorker. A New Yorker, and of course we always dance our spot turn to the left, base. Cha, cha, cha. So let's do the rhythm of that. One, two, cha, cha, cha. One, two, cha, cha, cha. One and two, three and four. One and two and three and four. One and two, three and four. New York. One, 
two, cha cha cha, one, two, cha cha cha. So we're dancing, what we're doing there is we're splitting the beat in half. So there's four beats and we're splitting the beat in half. So it's going half, 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 whole. <laughs> so <laughs> let's try that. We get, we're, going, we're going half a beat. Half, half, whole beat. Half, half, whole beat. Half, 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 whole beat. Half, 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 whole beat. Whole beat, whole beat, cha, cha, cha. Spot two. Yeah, so that's the breakdown of the rhythm of that. So let's let's try that together. What about if we get the ladies up? Yeah. If we get the ladies up, so you can follow behind, ladies, and we dance. And of course, the the leaders or the men or the leaders can um, dance as well. Let's keep it going. Here's the half a basic, the Alamana turn, and now we're crossing over into our New Yorker, but we're turning it into a Cuban break. So we're going over a place side. Over a place side, we double it now. Over, back and over side. The other way. Over, back and over side. The New York, New York, which is slow. Cha, cha, cha. And finish off with the spot turn. Let's try it again, ladies. Let's see if we can go a little bit quicker this time. Ready? Go. Basic step and cha, cha, cha. Alamana, two. Cha cha cha. Over and side. Over and side. Over and back and over and side. Over and back and over and side. The New York. Cha cha cha. Spot turn. Cha cha cha. What a fun group that is. Yeah, let's get the men up. Have a look, fellas. Here we go. And the basic step. Cha cha cha. The other mile turn. The New York Cuban break. One and two, three and four. Stay on the spot and three and four. On the spot and three and four. A New York cha cha cha. Spot turn step. Let's do it again. Basic step. The Alamana turn. Turn two. The New York cut. Over step. Over step, forward and back and forward and side, forward and back and forward and side. The New York to cha cha cha, spot turn, da da da. Should we try music? Yeah, let's give it a go to music. We'll dance it in the middle so you both get a chance to watch what's going on. Oh, where's the air gone? Yeah. <laughs> this venue's not very good. <laughs> we can open up the window. <laughs> It's a beautiful venue. We love Sunny Rock here. Five, six, seven, go. Alamana. Cute and brave. Over and side. Over and side. Forward and back and forward and side. Forward and back.
it's pretty much what we're doing with our swivels, guys. And what we're trying to do is to keep our left hand in line with our hip. See that? All I've done is I've taken my hand through with my hip, and if Sue wasn't there, look at this, it's, it's that. And I've just kept it together. I'm just doing it to myself. And when I've had enough, I'll start to turn if I want to. And see, Sue was smart enough to follow me on that. Well done. <laughs> And yeah, so don't let your hand, where we're going with all of that, is to overextend it through. Because what that's doing is I'm impeding Sue's dance area and I've danced Sue off of her foot. So we don't have to do, when we're, when we're the leader, we don't have to do it for them. We're just doing it to ourselves to encourage the uh, follower to open at the right time. It's like um, indicating where you want us to go. You're telling us you want to go that way, but it's my job to actually go that way and stand there. It's not Ross's job to actually put me there and that kind of thing. So he just has to indicate, I want you to go over here. Yeah, and I'm fairly relaxed, but I'm locked in. This hand is locked. Because, see that? I've locked it in, and now Sue has to dance a Cuban break on the spot because I've locked the hand in. And I can move Sue out of this action at any stage hold up for the new york mm. yeah so that lead is it's it's pretty important so it's not you, you don't want to be dancing your hands different to your body if you're going to open your body up just slightly that's enough to open the lady up and particularly for the guys if you if you dance with lots of different ladies um, and as you're getting a lady up and you don't know whether she actually knows how to do this particular group or not, then you do need to be fairly firm but controlled, so not to let it get away from you because you know that if you let it get away from you, it will just take over. Um, but also, it's a much clearer lead for the lady if you just keep it short and sharp. Um, I often think that, um, particularly when you're leading someone who's maybe unsure of what they're doing, that you, you take them over and you bring them back as well. So you, you take your hips through and lead to there, but it's also that you're also bringing her back to this position. So that, because she, without knowing what the step is, she might think she's doing a normal New Yorker, so she, she's going to hold on to that longer, normally. So the only way you're going to let the, get the message across to her to come back is to give her the indication to come back. Yeah. <laughs> So guys, you might want to, if you are two of you there, you might want to not do any feet and just practice leading the lady so you get the feel of that. And ladies, making sure that you're actually connecting with what the man's doing and letting him, let him do it to you. Let him lead you across and bring you back. And don't do it if he doesn't do it. And that way, the man gets to learn how he can do it better. <laughs> well said, sir. Very nice work you're thank producing. You. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and of course, you can loosen up and have a bit of fun with it as well and get down and boogie a bit if you wanted to on this bit. We could like bend our knees and get down and then dance back up again and get this cute little. <laughs> How cute. How cute. <laughs> it's sickening, really, isn't it? Yeah. And I like how he never told me this earlier when we were preparing. Um, what about, um, I'll just look at my little notes over there, um, and it's gone. What was I going to say? Something about the um, syncopated New Yorkers. Oh, the different ways that you can do the double. So I, I like to call these singles and doubles. So this is a single, and then it's a double. So with your double, you can do them um, a couple of different ways. So you can do them forward and back. Forward and back. Or you can do them forward and side towards each other. Forward and side and forward and step. Forward and side and forward and step. Or you can do it where the man gets the lady to turn in and out as they do it. You know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Sue will lead you through this. <laughs> that version. Oh, yes. The forward and back end. Yeah. Where you come in and out on the double. Yes. So you do your two sync. We'll do our two sync. <laughs> <laughs> we do a two singles. <laughs> <laughs> two singles and then the doubles, the third variation on the doubles. So single, one and two. One, then the double, forward and side and forward and step. Forward and side and forward and step. 
Well, See, yeah. Mullis, we can follow a lead too. <laughs> he had no idea what I was saying. No. <laughs> what about this version? Yeah. All right, this one, go. Forward and side and forward and step. Forward and side and forward and step. Ooh. And then just join in on the New York album. Yeah, that's the Lazy Man's version, is it? It's a great version. <laughs> I love that one. So let's do that Lazy Man's version then, because I don't think people will like that one. They will. From the Alamana. From the Alamana. Here we go. We got our symbols, we didn't do our symbols. You said you wanted to do that. <laughs> Music. You can see this is live. We just, yeah, we just. <laughs> All right, so we, we're going to do it to music. Let's do. How long have we been going, Tanika? Because we don't want to bore everyone to no, do this. No, we've been going a half an hour. Probably long enough. I think we've probably so, gone long enough. So I'm thinking that we will do to music version one with the single swivel, version two with the double swivel, and then go into the Cuban, the Cuban brace. brace, whichever version you want. We'll give you a standard version. show you guys how to dance in your kitchen or lounge room. Yeah. We've got two and a half metres of space either way there and uh, we really enjoy ourselves. Yeah, so the right. important bit is that we want to keep everyone dancing so hopefully you're happy with what we've put together today. Please feel free to either message on, on here or send us an email uh, or comment on the clip. This clip will actually be available on our live, live on our channel, or well, not live, but Anyway, it, it'll be a video. It'll be a video. You <laughs> can tell we really know what we're doing. Uh, thank goodness we've got Tanika, our assistant. Um, so this video will be available for you to re-watch. And then feel free to let us know what you want our next live stream to be about because we're happy to do whatever you guys are after. Otherwise, we'll just do whatever we want. We will. <laughs> well, we've got plenty of line dancers, so if you're keen on line we dancers, have. let us know. We've got a great jive one I'd love to get out there. And the, we um, can dance it in this spot rock. here, it'd be, great, it'd be great exercise too, Yeah, doing a bit of jive. You know, while we're all in isolation, we do need to try and keep moving and having a bit of a laugh. And we love dancing, and you guys love dancing, so yeah, let's keep dancing until we can get back together. Okay, so that's it from us. Yeah, we may see you next Sunday, depending on how it goes. Soon. Yeah, um, keep your eyes peeled. We haven't actually worked out a schedule yet. We wasn't sure how it would go. It took us all weekend just to put this together, so there you yes. go. We, we, were, we were happy that we got more than four people, but I think that was 
um, Sue's mum and uh, my <laughs> sister. And, and my <laughs> sister. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. I okay. hope you had a bit of a laugh and enjoyed yes. that session. Thank you. See ya. Is this like the Toy Story where <laughs> the Barbie doll's standing there going, see ya, bye.